Hello and good morning. Welcome to my live YouTube lesson on my YouTube channel. My name is Joe and I hope you're ready to learn some English. I'm just going to type in my greeting here and I'm from Canada and we'll see who's here. I think I see some people already <laughs> typed in. That's nice to see. It is Saturday morning here. It looks cold and gray outside. I haven't been outside yet. I'll probably get out there in a little while. But it is, uh, it is a Saturday, so you can't complain. All right. So who's, who's here? Elise is here. Hello, Elise. Good to see you. I hope you can hear me. Hope you can see me. <laughs> IPEC. Hi, IPEC. Arif is here. That's good. Wonderful. Megha. Saturday evening in India. I hope you had a great Saturday. Hello, JSEC. All right. Here we go. Lolly is here. We can hear me. That's good. <laughs> Pavlina is here. Wonderful. And Saturday night in Indonesia. Yeah, getting really late over there. Hello, Virginia. Nice. All right. We got some people showing up. That's fantastic. All right. All right. Ah, uh, Katerina. Hi there. From Russia. Wonderful. Welcome. All right. Um, I thought uh, we have some people here. Why don't we start off? <laughs> Other people are probably going to come by in a few minutes. It's also evening in Russia. So we'll start off with our true or false game. People who've been here before know this game. I say a sentence about one of you, and then you guys vote and tell me if it's true or false, and we have a lot of laughs. Well, I know I'm laughing. I'm hoping you guys are laughing too. All right. So let's try with Elise first off. All right. She's here. So let's try Elise, everybody. Okay. How are you? I'm doing great. <laughs> Thanks for asking. All right. So here's our first true or false question, and this one's about Elise. Here we go. True or false, Elise used to own a bicycle. Used to own a bicycle. Not anymore. True or false, Elise used to own a bicycle. Are you going to tell us a funny story? Oh, boy. <laughs> I got to find one. <laughs> All right. Maybe I have one. All right, so Megha says true, true, Arif, true, Jacek, true, Pavlina, true. So she used to have, uh, she used to have a bicycle, but not anymore. No bicycle now. A lot of people saying true so far. We're going to find out. Anybody else, anybody else going to vote? All right. True. I don't know. Nobody knows. True. She has a car. She uses a car now. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. I think that's all our, maybe that's all our voters. All right. Elise, let us know. Now she doesn't know, she doesn't know what a bicycle is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Elise, true or false? I still got one. So is that true or false? So what I wanted was you used to only have one and now no. So that is false. That is false. Elise still owns a bicycle. Not used to own a bicycle. She still has one. All right. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> All right, very good. Maybe some people are going to be angry about that, Elise. <laughs> yeah, all right. Very good. Okay. 
Okay, let's go. Let let's do the next one, everybody. No, yeah, nobody guessed. <laughs> Yay! I lost it. <laughs> Hi, Queen. Let's do this one about Megha. All right. Okay, Megha. This one's about you, Megha Bathra, <laughs> or Megha Bothra. I don't know exactly. All right, but Megha. Is this true or false about Megha? Here we go. Megha bought some food today. Megha bought some food today. So that could be at a grocery store or it could be at a restaurant. Doesn't matter. But she bought food today. Oh, we're doing the true-false game, Queen. Elise says true. IPEC says true. All right. <laughs> true. She bought a lot of food. Okay. Arif says absolutely true. She needs to eat. Okay. <laughs> All right. Lolly's going different. She's saying false. Maybe she said she bought food yesterday. She's got food in the house. Didn't buy it today. True. And some drinks also. Hi, Rula. All right. Anybody else going to vote on this one? Megha bought some food today, or are we finished? Okay, all right. Maybe that's it. Oh, wait. Marnia's, uh, Marina's voting true, and she has already eaten it all. <laughs> okay, all right. Please, true. Arif wants to win this one. Rule is saying false. <laughs> okay. Oh, hello, Sabina. Okay, so now, is it true or false? Megha, let us know. Did you buy some food today? If you did, what did you buy? Restaurant, groceries. What did you get? Megha, it's true. I bought spicy puffed rice risoles and a choco pie. I've already eaten it. <laughs> Marnie, I said that. Marina said she's already eaten it all. Wow. So, Mar Marina, you get double points. <laughs> you had the right answer, and you said that she ate it all. <laughs> Wow, that is really good. So that's how you get double points, everybody. True or false plus an extra that turns out to be true. <laughs> wow, okay. Let's try another one. Let's try, okay, here's Lolly, everybody. Let's try Lolly, okay? <laughs> All right, Meg has a teetotaler. No wine for her. Okay, so this one's true or false about Lolly. Here we go. Lolly likes popcorn more than potato chips. Right? Lolly likes popcorn more than potato chips. Is that true or false? True or false? Hello, Maya. I'm doing great. I hope you're doing great too. Megha says false. Rula says false. Sabina says false. Maya says false. Pavlina says false. Wait, we got Elise is going true on this one. Arif says false. Mehraban says false. Marina says false. Mostly people are saying false on this one. She likes popcorn more than potato chips. Wow. I think just... Well, who is it so far? Only Elise thinks it's true. Elise, if you you're you're on your own here, all right. False chips go go with beer better. <laughs> so they, he's thinking, he's thinking things he knows about about Lolly. All right, uh, chips are better with beer. Yeah, <laughs> Savina's just laughing. <laughs> okay, Lolly, you're gonna have to let us know. True or false? Do you like popcorn more than potato chips? <laughs> At least it's, I'm counting on you. What are we going to find out here? F 
false. I hate popcorn. I love potato chips. Oh, I'm sorry, Elise. Yes. Teacher, you pronounced my name correctly. So, Megha Bothra. Okay, great. <laughs> when did you start the video? We've been only here 10 minutes, Queen. Sorry, Elise. <laughs> yeah. Hate, you hate popcorn. Wow. Wow. Oh, I, I don't know if I met anybody who's hated popcorn. Hello. Hey, Lily. All right. Okay. Let's do Let's do one more. This one's about Arif. Everybody, let's try Arif. Arif. Arif Rajagum. Sorry, sorry, Elise. <laughs> it sounds like Lolly certainly loves Elise. Great friends. But Lolly still hates popcorn, and she can't. She can't change her mind. She can't lie. <laughs> All right. So here we go. This one is about a reef, everybody. Okay. You ready? True or false? A reef knows someone who drives a taxi. A reef knows someone who drives a taxi. A taxi driver. Lolly says true. Elise says lolly <laughs> with a heart. All right. Megha says true. Sabina says true. Rula, true. <laughs> lolly says uh, smiley face. <laughs> Merba, Mer, Meraban says true. Maya, true. Jacek, true. <laughs> Lily says true. El Lily says oh no. <laughs> okay. All right, true, but he doesn't know his name. Okay, all right. So he knows him, he kind of knows him, but not his name. Did anybody, is everybody saying true? Wow, okay, all right. I think everybody has a lot of confidence, Arif, that you know a taxi driver. <laughs> Mar Mar Marina says he's a taxi driver himself. Okay, that's good. If you're double, if you get double points on this one, Marina. That's a big surprise. Wow. All right. <laughs> okay. Are you ready, Arif? All right. Is it true or false? You know someone who drives a taxi. Let us know. Oh, we're waiting. Maybe he's outside trying to get a taxi friend. False. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm not a taxi driver. <laughs> that was a risky. That was a risky guess. Yeah. Maybe his wife is a taxi driver. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> he's false. Unfortunately, he doesn't know a taxi driver. He is not a taxi driver. Pretty sure his wife. <laughs> Why a reef? <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow, you should be a taxi driver. All right, all right. He's only 22. Yeah, maybe his future wife. <laughs> Are you sure, Arif? <laughs> call, call all your friends right now. Maybe some of them have started driving taxis. <laughs> okay, all right. So that's that's our little true false game everybody. All right. Maybe we'll play a little bit more later. All right. All right. Lily says 22 it's normal to be married. All right. Okay. <laughs> you should know. <laughs> All right. So now uh, what I'm doing today is uh, we're going to learn some some common collocations with the word make and and take. Make and take, okay? So these are not necessarily idioms or slang or anything, but they're very common collocations. So maybe you know them, maybe you don't. They're common expressions, okay? Very good. So so the first one, so what I'm going to do is I tell you a sentence, and there's a blank in it, and there's... Uh, maybe one or two words or more in that blank. See if you can guess what goes in the blank. Okay? All right. So this first one 
It's uh, the whole expression has three words, but I'm going to give you the first one. It's make, make, and then two more words. Okay. See if you can guess this expression. Here we go. The new shopping center will really make mm mm to the town's economy. The new shopping center will really make mm mm to the town's economy. So there's two words, and it's a very common expression. What do you think? What fits in there? A little short word and then a longer word. All right, there we go. Make a make a difference. Yes, Elise, you're right. It was three words, but make was one of the words. So make a difference. Make a contribution. Yes, make how that also works, but make a difference is a much more uh, much more common expression, right? Make a contribution. Oh, hi, Nicoletta. All right. Lil, uh, design, uh, I don't know that one, Lily. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So the word we were looking for was make a difference. Um, uh, Mehraban, many different advantages. So no, we don't usually say that was make. We would say create many advantages. All right. But this one was make a difference. Okay. Okay. So here's, yeah, Sabina's got it. The new shopping center will really make a difference to the town's economy. Okay. All right. Does everybody understand this? Is it clear? Like a thumbs up? Or do you have any questions about what does this word mean and why this word or that word or what's the difference? If you have any questions, right, just type them in and ask. Now is a good time while I'm having a drink of water. Okay, Elise has got it. All right, Metaban's got it. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, Valerie. Hello, Joe from Moscow. Didn't see you a long time. Yes. Nice to see you again, Valerie. All right, we're okay. All right, we will move on to our next one. So the next one, it's another expression. Okay. All right. <laughs> so it's another expression, and we're looking for two words, two words in the blank. Okay. This is a common expression that starts with make, but I'm giving you make. Okay. So here we go. My son says, my son says he is going to really make mm mm to do well at school this year. My son says he is going to really make mm mm to do well at school this year. So we're looking for two words. What goes with make in this case? Make big efforts. You're close. Yeah. Make a tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> make big progress, make a choice. Uh, efforts is close, but we don't we don't have to put it in a plural. Okay? Singular is also okay, is is fine. Make mistakes? No. So the I think I think a lot of you are having the right you're in the right arena area. It's not quite the way native speakers say it. Okay? Make good grades? Uh, not quite. There we go. IPEX got it. Yes. Yes. There we go. We don't have to say efforts. My son says he is going to really make an effort to do well at school this year. Make an effort means you try hard. Okay? All right? Make an effort. That means try hard. Okay. You don't have to make. You don't have to make it plural. Does everybody? Is that clear? Or does anybody have any questions about that one? 
<laughs> IPEC. Yes, double points there. Nicoletta, yeah, make an effort. A task. So not quite. So make an effort means just try hard all year. It's clear, Elise. Good. Thank you. All right. Okay, good. Lolly, thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> all right. Let's move on to the next one. Excellent. Okay. Here's another common expression. This one, uh, this one, in the blank, there are four words. Three little words and then a bigger word, but four words in the blank. Okay? I think you know this expression. Okay, here we go. That artist made... Mm, selling his paintings last night. That artist made mm, selling his paintings last night. Hello, Hiroyuki. All right. So in this blank, there's four words. <laughs> four words. <laughs> All right. Made mm, 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 mm. What do you think? Selling his paintings. What do you make when you sell your paintings? Okay, people are thinking it over. This is a common, common English expression, very common. Maybe you know it. Made an exhibition? Not quite. No. There we go. Elise has got it. Made a lot of money. Right? Four words. Made a lot of money. Hello, hello, Flea. <laughs> a discount for you? And that's four words, Lily, but it's not a common expression as made a lot of money. Megha's got it. Hiroyuki's got it. Nicoletta's got it. Yes. Yeah. That's the most common expression, made. Hey, Yasin. Alex, made a fortune. That's also a common expression, but only two words. But yeah, still still possible. Yeah. So the artist made a lot of money selling his paintings last night. Okay. So does everybody does anybody have any questions about that? Art things. No, 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 made our thing. No, made a lot of money is what we were looking for. All right. Do you make a lot of money in in Facebook? Face, Facebook? No, I don't make any money on Facebook. Yeah. Uh, so that artists have deep pockets, possibly. Yeah. Well, that artist. <laughs> yeah. If he makes a lot of money, then he has deep pockets. Yeah. All right. Is everybody okay? Uh, it means to earn. Yes. So make a lot of money, Katerina, means to earn a lot of money. Yes. So he earned a lot of money last night because he sold a lot of paintings for a lot of money. Very good. All right. We're okay. We're moving on. It's so difficult to make a lot of money, don't you think? Um... Well, Hiroyuki, I think it can be, but I think there's other things that are more difficult, all right? Because uh, in, in I talk to my students about this in class. I think it's you can get a job. It's part-time job or something. You can find a job and start making money. It's more difficult to find your true love, all right? Commerce is a great sector for business and making lots of money, yes. All right, let's go on to our next one. This one is, all right, this was a common expression. In the blank, we need one word, one word, okay? Starts with the letter P. All right, here's our expression. So it's an expression that is starts with made, but in the blank is just one word. I'll drink to that. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to hang out with us or have you made mm to do something else? 
Do you want to hang out with us or have you made mm to do something else? What do you think? What word is is missing there? Elise has got it. Theresia, hello. So made if you're gonna say plan, then you gotta say you have an you have a article, made a plan. So there's no article, it should be made plans. Yes, plans, plans, plans. Uh, if you're going to say appointment, Arif, you'd have to say made an appointment. So, and not as common. Made plans is a much more common. Could I repeat, repeat the whole sentence? Yep, we're going to do that right now. Okay. Do you want to hang out with us or have you made plans to do something else? Okay, so when it's there and it says made plans, I'm only looking for one word. It should be plural, made plans. If it's two words, then you'd say made a plan. Okay, so you'd need two words with an article. Made a plan or made plans. Hello, Mansoor. Okay. Does anybody have any other questions about this expression? All right. Or the grammar or anything there? Or is it clear? All right. Uh -huh. It's okay. Got it. Nice. Nice. All right. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Wonderful. All right. So let's go on to the next one. Nice. Here we go. Okay. Okay. So this one, uh, <laughs> noise. <laughs> this one is a common expression that starts with the letter take. All right. So those other ones started with make. This one is starts with take, the word take. So this blank, there's two words, okay? I think you know it. I think this one will be a good one. I think a lot of people get it. Here we go. He wants to take mm from his homework and watch some TV. He wants to take mm, -mm from his homework and watch some TV. Mehaban, so take rest. No, Lolly, not take rest. Elise has got it. Take a break. Yeah, take free time. No, we we wouldn't say it's the same idea, Rula, but we don't say take free time. We say take a break. Take a break is the common expression. Yeah, a break, a break. Take a break. All right, let me type it in. All right, what's the difference? Which one did you say? Okay, yes, so rest, all right? Rest versus break isn't the same. The ideas are the same, Pavlina and Teresia, but, but it's just how native speakers say them. So we say... Take a break or the same meaning, but we don't say, we say take a break or have a rest. We don't usually say take a rest. Okay. All right. Do you understand? Take a break or have a rest. So it's the same idea. And if you say, take a rest, we understand what you're saying. It's totally understandable, but it's not what native speakers say. Okay, do you understand? Okay, very good. Yeah, I mean, we just use re uh, rest just with have. Yeah, have a rest. Okay, very good, good. Thank you guys for asking, right? Right? Okay. So what's our next one? So that one's take a break. All 
Okay, here we go. Here's another one. This is another this is another sentence that starts with with t another sentence. Another expression that starts with take. Okay? All right. So we're looking for two words. Arif, no problem. Thank you for asking. Here we go. So, here's our expression. Two words go in here. On Monday, I will take Mm -mm in chemistry, so I have to study all weekend. Hey, Kanul. All right. On Monday, I will take mm -mm in chemistry, so I have to study all weekend. So two words. M Marina's got it. Alex has got it. Yep. Jacek's got it. Marina, that's also possible. Yeah, Teresa has got, Elise has got both of them. Take a test, take an exam. Both, okay. Yeah. All right. Take an exam. Yeah. So it's the same collocation. Take a test, take an exam. Both fine. All right. Yes, great. On Monday, I will take an exam in chemistry, so I have to study all weekend. All right. Let's do a little uh, survey, a survey of people here. All right. When you were in high school or university, whichever, what was your easiest subject? What was the subject that you were the best in? The one that you understood the best. The easy subject for you. Which one was it? You got a high score. Let's see. In Elise was English. She was the English star. Alberto says mathematics. Okay. English for Teresia. Nice. Okay. M Marina said sports. Okay. Accounting for Devia. Math. JSEC. English. Hiroyuki. <laughs> French for Lolly. Okay, very good. Nicoletta got history. Alex was English. Oh, listening and speaking subjects and favorite. Okay, Arif. Ah, Pavlina. Czech language and physical education. IPEC says math is the easiest subject in high school. Make a business management for, for Mecha. Math, math for uh, Mehreban. Okay, okay, very good. Hello, <laughs> and Russian, Marina, and English also. Queen, honestly, it was English. That is why I decided to study English as a major. Katerina says it, literature. All right. Now, okay, very good. All right. Now, let me ask you a second survey question. What was the subject that you hated? It was the worst subject. You hated it, hated it, hated it. All right? Algebra. Is there a difference between math and maths? Alberta, yeah. In North America, we say math. Math or mathematics. England, they say maths. Pursuing English literature. Yeah, math. All right, so which one did you hate? Pavlina, is that the one you hated? Alex, Russian? Marina hated chemistry. Mathematics, of course. All right. Mathematics. Chemistry and geography. Katerina said math. Chemistry. I hated math and still hate it. <laughs> okay. Math. For me, math, absolutely. Yes, I hated math. The blue says physics. Hiroyuki hated literature. Arabic grammar. Yeah, I've heard that's very, very difficult. Yeah. Rula says math. Okay. I think most people were math. Yeah. Hated mathematics. Conil hated history. IPEC hated literature. Okay. All right. I think uh, uh, humanistic uh, subjects. Okay. For me, I think the one... One that I liked the most, or that was easiest for me, was English, English literature. Uh, hello, hello, Moonly. 
Do you have a difficult subject? So easy for me was English and economics. I got those. And uh, I was just going to say to Elise, a lot of people hated math, but when I was in high school, my, 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 my last high school teacher was uh, a fantastic man named Mr. Bewley. And even though the math was difficult, his class was so much fun. Yeah, so I loved that teacher, and uh, I got a good score in it, even though, you know, I, I wasn't very interested. I didn't love math, but I didn't hate it because of him. Do you love math? No, I don't love math, but I love that teacher, right? He, uh, he, uh, he helped everybody. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I think, I think Elise is right. It depends a lot on the teacher. Okay, all right. Let's go on. So that was take an exam. Let's go on to our next, uh, next one. All right. Here's our next sentence. Say this sentence, and in the blank is two words. So the expression starts with take, but I'm giving you take, and then take, mm -mm, two words. See if you can guess this one. I didn't hate subjects, but my father was an engineer, and he draws instead of me. Didn't like drawing. Okay. Okay, you're ready? Here we go. So here's the, exp here, we're looking for two words. All right. You look tired. Perhaps you should take mm mm and go somewhere for a few days. You look tired. Perhaps you should take mm mm and go somewhere for a few days. So what do you think? Take a holiday, take a vacation. Yeah. So no, Valerie, take a rest. Remember, we, we don't say that. We say, take a break. Right? We just said that one before. All right. Take a day off. Close. The, the most common one. All right. Take a trip is okay. Take a... Eesh. Take a vacation is the one I was looking for. Okay? All right. You look tired. Perhaps you should take a vacation and go somewhere for a few days. Okay? All right, so take a holiday, v Valerie. That's also common in English, but that's more British English. They say take a holiday, go on a holiday, right? But over here we have a different, a different meaning of the word holiday. So we say take a vacation in North America because a holiday means like Easter is a holiday or Thanksgiving is a holiday. Christmas is a holiday. All right, so you enjoy a holiday, all right, but you take a vacation. You go on a vacation, all right? Does anybody have any questions about about this sentence or this vocabulary? All right, Valerie, yeah. Anybody else? Anybody? Do you have a question or is it clear? What do you think? You got better words than British. <laughs> Well, I, I don't think my words are better. They're just a little different. So if you want North American, that's what I explain. And I, I know North American. It means a short period of time. So uh, take a vacation means go on a trip. All right. All right. Could I use vacay? So Alberto, the word vacay is just short, kind of a slang term for vacation. I'm going on vacay next week. I need so I need to take a vacation, JSEC. Yeah. That's clear, Teresia? You appear, prefer American English? Okay, good. Absolutely be careful. It's queer it's clear, Queen. Okay. Let's have a drink to celebrate the Okay, where am I? <laughs> the next one. All right. Here's another common, common expression with take. 
take a trip. No, okay, Nicoletta. Yeah. So the last one. You look tired. Perhaps you should take a trip and go somewhere for a few days. That's okay. But take a trip means kind of go somewhere. You might just say you should take a trip somewhere. Okay? Take a trip somewhere. So take a vacation um, is... is they're both common. Take a trip. I'm going to take a trip. I'm going to take a, a vacation. Both, both common. All right. Here's our next one. Where am I? Okay. I think everybody will get this one. This is a common expression. Starts with take. And you're in the blank is one word. One word. Here we go. I, I love taking mmm of people with my new camera. Be careful about the grammar here, everybody. I love taking mm of people with my new camera. Be careful of the grammar. There we go. Photos, taking photos. Take a picture, all right. Pictures, yes. Take pictures, yes. Pictures, pictures. Yeah. Okay. So now it has to be plural, right? I love taking. So you love, and are you talking about taking one picture? No. You love taking pictures. Okay. So it could be pictures. It could be photos. Could be. Right? Anything. I love taking pictures. I love taking taking photos. I love taking photographs of people with my new camera. Okay? All right. So do you guys understand why it's not one? Right? I was looking for one word. So you can't say take. I love taking a photo. Right? If you say I love taking a photo, that means only one. I love doing this. Okay, so you want, I love taking pictures. Does everybody understand this sentence? Or do you need more explanation about the singular plural problem? Okay, you got it. Loud and clear, good. Yes, you understand, good. Because sometimes we do use singular, all right? But you have to, you have to be able to say that it's singular, okay? But if it's just being general, then it should be plural. All right, very good. Here we go. I love taking pictures of my pets. Yes, Valerie. Yeah, good. All right, that's uh, <laughs> that's a good. Uh, let's let's do another little survey. <laughs> oh, it's plugged in. Careful. All right. So. Uh, let's do another survey, everybody. On your phone, on your cell phone, what was the last thing you took a picture of? On your cell phone, what was the last thing or person you took a picture of? So the last thing I took a picture of was me. I took a selfie <laughs> and put it on Instagram this morning. What was the last thing you took a picture of? All right. When could I pronounce as when using singular nouns, for example, photo? All right, Alberto. Yeah. Okay. Uh, to to do that, you got to say, I took a photo of my dog this morning. I took a photo. One. Okay. I took a selfie this morning. Yeah. But if you're just doing general, then you'll say, I took, I love taking photos. I took a picture of my dog, okay, Pavlina. A screenshot from Instagram about English, Demira, okay. Honestly, I took a screenshot of your current post on Instagram. Okay, Megha, nice. All right, and remember, anybody, if you guys take a screenshot and uh, w other people have done this on Instagram, and if you post it in your stories, 
uh, then I will post it in my stories. Okay, whatever you, if you say a good thing about me, I say a good thing about you. All right. So what else do we got? Your niece, JSEC. Okay, I took a picture of a bus schedule at the bus stop. <laughs> well, still very useful, Elise. All right. My husband in his new sweater that I bought from Nice Marina. All right. Last picture when I took, uh, it was your breakfast, Valerie. Good. A photo with your son. Excellent. A picture of myself, Teresia. Wonderful. I like nature, so I took a sunrise in my garden. Oh, beautiful. All right. I'd like to see that. Got a screenshot of a quote, a reef. Wonderful. I took a picture of my city sunset. Oh, Alberto, that'd be nice. I took a photo of my neighbors. Lolly, very nice. I hope they knew, you, like not just through the window. <laughs> a picture of my cat, Nicoletta, wonderful. The last thing I took a picture of was me when I was at a wedding yesterday. Okay, nice. Congratulations to whoever got married yesterday. Pictures of animals at the Ueno Zoo, okay? Lolly is stalking. <laughs> stalking her neighbors, yeah. Changes in my timetable. All right, very good. A lot of different pictures. Good, good, good. No problem. Don't have to say sorry. That's okay, queen. All right. So what do we got? Here's our last sentence with the word, with, with take expressions. Okay. We're your neighbors naked. <laughs> I hope not. Oh, oh, man. All right. I took a picture of my new perfume and sent it to my close friend. Okay. Nice. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. Here's another. This is our last common expression with the word take. So we uh, in the blank goes one word. One word. Paparazzi. Here we go. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> All right. The best students always remember to take mm during class. The best students always remember to take mm during class. What do you think? Maybe next time, Lolly. <laughs> All right, Alex has got it, jsec has got it, IPEC's got it, good, Marina, Arif, Alberto, Nicoletta, Elise, yeah, oh, that's one, this, this one, hello, laughing, yeah, notes, yeah, so the word we were looking for was notes, okay. <laughs> I've noticed this in my classes a lot. Yeah. <laughs> the best students always remember to take notes during class. So when I look out of my class, some students are taking notes and they ask good questions and they write more notes. And then there's other students that say, don't worry, Joe, I can remember everything. And, well, maybe you can. But it doesn't, I, in my experience, nobody can. Nobody can remember everything. That's why writing it down is so such a strong thing. <laughs> Take notes. All right. Does anybody have any questions about, so, well, everybody got this one right. Does anybody have questions about this sentence or this vocabulary? Maybe it was easy. Notes. Take notes. Remember to take notes. Yeah. Nice. They took notes. <laughs> they took notes uh, in their minds. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I take notes during your lessons, Joe. Yes, Elise. Very good. Yeah, I think I've seen pictures of Elise's notes. Very, very good student. All right. I can remember everything as I write down. I think, well, what I've read, what I've, what I've read is that while you're taking notes, it's just your mind is working twice. You're listening and you're writing. So it just connects it not just one way, but two ways. So it's just a stronger memory. And what I've read is if you take notes and just and never look at them again, 
it's your your memory is stronger than just trying to remember right yeah I take a screenshot during Joe's lives lesson then write them down Arif good idea write down in my notebook lolly yeah take notes that's what that means actually I'm taking notes of your lesson right now okay and then Joe smiled at Queen <laughs> all right <laughs> all right great great all right so that was the take and make expressions let's have a drink okay next I have some euphemisms I forget who it was that uh, uh, Marina or Megha I can't remember somebody suggested this this morning you sent me a note on on uh, you take notes Karina Kat Katarina excellent great student it was either Megha or Marine Marina Marina, was it you? You said suggested, how about some euph euphemisms? So I found some. I found some common euphemisms. All right. So let me type this in. E-U. That means... Okay, yeah, euphemism, a euphemism. Uh, yes, I got a, <laughs> that's my hockey bottle, yeah, euphemism. Quote some popular sayings once. <laughs> I'm going to write that one down too. <laughs> yeah. So, quotes. All right, okay. Uh, there you go, Alberto. Yeah, like pass away. So instead of saying, hey, what happened to your grandmother? She passed away. Instead of, oh, she died. All right. So it's the same meaning as died, but it's a more polite or gentle way to say things. Okay. All right. Okay. So here we go. So I'll type in the euphemism and you guys let me uh, type in your guess. What do you think it means? Here we go. Here's the first one. What does let someone go mean? Let someone go. Yeah, economic was the truth. Oh, I, I might even have that one. Yes, laughing. Letting go? No, no, it means something else. To let someone go means to do something. There we go. Alex has got it. To fire someone. So if you're my employee and I say, hey, you're fired, that's really, yeah. But to let someone go means to, it's a more polite way. Yeah. To let someone go means to fire someone. Yes, Hiroyuki, you got it. All right. To fire someone. So you got fired. I got let go. He got let go. All right. Okay. So that was a euphemism. That's a good one. All right. Let's do. I got another one. Do you guys know this one? Correctional facility. To release someone. Well, release them from their job. Alberta. So to let someone go means to fire them from their job. All right. What about, what is a correctional fa facility? Have you ever heard this one before? Oh, this is a little child. All right. Yeah. To release someone. There we go. Uh, yeah. Correctional, co uh, correctional facility. No, 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 no. To let someone go. Then it's not. Then it's not a euphemism. Yeah. All right. Government officials. Special school. No. No. Okay. Here we go. A correctional facility equals a jail or a prison. All 
All right, a jail or a prison? Yeah, Queen's got it. All right, because you've done something wrong, something wrong with you, so we are going to correct, we're going to correct you, correct your behavior. So it's a correctional facility. Oh, we got a lot of sunshine coming in now, so the camera is changing its <laughs> darkness. Yeah, oh, sorry about that. I don't know if I can move, yeah. Move it a little bit. <laughs> yeah, so the sun has come out. All right, you understood it? You got that one? Yeah. So if you you might read that in in the newspaper. Wow, it's really sunny out now. So the, in here, the camera's getting darker. Sorry about that, everybody. All right, here's another one. Okay. Special score for perpetrator. Here we go. What What is an economical product? It is very economical. Meager in number? Uh, no, quite. There we go. JSEX got it. Yeah. It could be, it may, it may have been, it could, hey Kiko, it could be low quality. Yes. Very earning? No, no. So, an economical. This is an economical thing. It's very economical. So, yeah, JSEX got it. An economical product is a cheap product. So it may be low quality. Yeah. Best value. So best value is another euphemism. Yeah, but the 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 the, the more direct way to say it is just cheap. That is cheap. Low price. Yes. All right, very good. Okay. Here's another Here's another euphemism. Do you know this one? Low cost. Have you ever heard of this next one? All right. Oh, sorry. Okay, so we're going to have to go back, but I will afterwards, Katerina. All right. Negative cash flow. Product last week. That doesn't sound good. No, no, no. So these are not good things, Hiroyuki. That's the thing about a euphemism. These are bad things, but you say them in a polite way. Yeah. So negative cash flow in loss, lost money, yep. Oh, Lolly, you got to go? Okay, see you tomorrow, Lolly. We'll do another one at 9 o'clock tomorrow. A negative balance? Perhaps. You're close. No. When spending is bigger than generation? Perhaps, but it's... it's uh, we're just looking for one meaning that is a rude way to say it or a harsh way to say it. All right, so here we go. Negative cash flow equals you're broke or you have no money. You're broke or you have no money. So I'm experiencing... Or, uh, Right? My friend is experiencing a negative cash flow at the moment. Okay? All right? That means he's broke. He doesn't have any money. All right. All right. And let me go back up. Katerina, you wanted an ex a cheap product. All right?
Now, I don't know if you guys have this one. You might not have this store in your in your countries, but in uh, North America, these type of stores are very common, called the dollar store. Most everything in the store, it costs one dollar. So, I bought her an economical gift at the dollar store, okay? <laughs> A cheap gift. Yeah, so broke means you broke means you don't have any money, Nicoletta. Okay? You're broke. So a lot of times university students are broke. They don't have any money. When you're broke, you don't have any money. Yeah. All right? A stingy gift. Yeah. So something really cheap. And actually, my uh the my university class uh you have you have those kinds of stores yeah so most of the stuff in there is very cheap products maybe they're low quality but you know you gotta sometimes you don't want to spend a lot of money okay valerie have a good day at the gym have a good workout all right uh actually my students in my class in university uh we're gonna we're gonna do kind of a, a secret santa we're gonna buy funny gifts, not real serious gifts, but funny gifts at the dollar store to give to each other. All right? So I got to do that the next couple of weeks. Poundland in the UK. Czech Republic isn't anything like that. Okay. So you have to go to do prayer, take care of everyone. Okay, Queen. I should be careful not to buy economical products. Yeah. Yeah. All right. A lot of, yeah, but if you're, for example, for example, um, like here's a, here's a pencil thing to put pencils in and scissors. You don't have to spend a lot of money on that. So it could be a useful product. It's just cheap. It's just, you know, I don't want to spend $25 on a pencil case or a pencil box. So it is possible. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. All right. What's my next euphemism? That was negative class. Okay. Here we go. Uh, I think this one was mentioned earlier. Economical with the truth. Economical with the truth. What do you think? If your gen will be experience negative cash flow. Okay, you think there's going to be problems with the Japanese economy. Okay. Economical with the truth. Have you ever heard or can you guess what that is? Avoiding the truth, yeah. Lying, yes. Yes. So if you say he is economical with the truth, that means he is a liar. He tells a lot of lies. Okay? All right? Yeah, liar, liar, liar. Yeah. Some something you can't trust. Usually we say it about a person. That guy, that guy is economical with the truth. Okay? Alright? That means he doesn't he doesn't he doesn't give away the truth very much. Okay? I don't know if do you guys know anybody like that who 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 doesn't uh doesn't tell the truth very much? <laughs> <laughs> I bet you do. If you have a TV, <laughs> you probably have seen somebody who doesn't use the truth very much. All right. Where are we now? Yeah, politicians. There we go. Like Pinocchio. Very good. <laughs> yeah, just about every country, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't this funny? Around the world, 
like different countries and we can all have the same idea so why can't we fix this idea why can't we fix this problem i don't know what's going on all right so here's another one here's another euphemism this one might be a little harder i don't know see if you can get this my counselor is wanting to be careful of someone with economical with the truth yes here we go here's another one vertically challenged vertically challenged what do you think vertically challenged that guy is vertically challenged any guesses for this one or no not yet I'll have a drink while people think uh, promoted no no marina and remember uh, these are these are bad yeah there we go Alberta's got it no Alberta's got it vertical so vertical means how tall how like the vertical goes up horizontal is this way vertical is up and down so if you're vertically challenged that means you are short All right, that guy is vertically challenged. Now, don't be promoted. Uh, no, no, it, it's not. It's not about promotions or work. It just means he's a short guy. He's got short legs. <laughs> All right. So I'm not a very tall guy. I'm like a 170, 71, 172 centimeters tall. Yeah. So I'm not tall. I'm not a super tall guy. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, so Elise likes that one. Vertically challenged. Yeah. Um, uh, all right. <laughs> What's another one? Oh, here we here's another one. Have you heard this one before? Big boned. Big boned. 171 is not short. No, no, no. I, I don't. I, I think I'm right uh, on the edge of short and right. Yeah, Mar Marina's got this one for big boned. 171, 172. But I'm not. I, nobody would call me a tall man. Yeah. Our president is vert vertically challenged. There you go. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So big boned. No. Big boned equals. Yeah, Canole likes that one. Big boned equals fat. Yes. Yeah, chubby, Alberta. Yes. Yeah. So big boned, right? So imagine your arm, but then you, and you could say, "Oh man, you're not in good shape." No, no, no. Inside, I have big bones. <laughs> so big boned means fat. Okay. <laughs> Former Prime Minister Hatoyama was vertically challenged. There you go. Yeah. Joe Chubby. Thank you, Arif. Thanks for thanks for telling everybody on the internet. <laughs> All right. Okay. Here's another one. This this one is used by girls. All right, this one is used by girls. I have to powder my nose. I have to powder my nose. What does that mean? This is a euphemism girls use. There we go. Marina's got it. All right. Yeah, go to the bathroom. Go to the toilet. Yes. All right. Does everybody understand that one? Oh, hi, Chiron. Yeah, well, they, yeah, so Nicoletta, they say they're going to do their makeup, right? Refresh their makeup. Uh, so powder my nose means put some makeup on. But it's a polite way of going to the bathroom. Yeah. All right. Yeah, because 
you know, a, 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 a lady doesn't say, hey, I got to use the bathroom, right? Not as polite, not as classy as I have to powder my nose. Okay? All right? <laughs> it's the same meaning, but it's a polite way to say it. Okay? And here's, here's my last euphemism. Maybe not a great use of euphemism, and I think everybody knows this one. Over the hill. Have you heard this expression? What does over the hill mean? Uh, no, no, not yet, Marina. Not passed away. Alberto's got it. Yeah, old. Not not dead. No, still alive, right? Not young. Half his life is over. Yeah, so you're going up and over the hill. That means you're over maybe past halfway. To be suppressed? No, just means old. No longer exists? No, no, still exists. So something's over the hill. Usually we're talking about a person. That guy's over the hill. He's old. Yeah. So can he still play hockey? No, no, no. He's over the hill. He can't play hockey very well. Okay? Over the hill. You're too pessimistic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Elderly. Yes. Nicoletta. Salt and pepper hair. Yeah. Salt and pepper beard. <laughs> yeah. So a little older. Okay, I mean, kick the bucket soon, maybe, maybe. I hope that's not true about me, but to kick the bucket is a, a euphemism for died. Yeah, okay. All right, so now I have some more, uh, or I have, where did I put it? I don't have it. Okay, hello everybody. So I've got a story here, uh, okay, that I can tell you. Here's a funny story, and then, <laughs> then I'll ask you questions, okay? You guys ready for this uh, story? What is the meaning of past one's prime? Alberta, past one's prime means old and not super strong anymore, all right? Yeah, so we'd use that for athletes too. A story? You ready? Okay, all right. So here's the story. <clears throat> okay, let me get my pen so I mark it. All right, so, <laughs> so I'll, I'll tell the story and then I'll ask questions for you guys to see if you remember the story. Okay, this story takes place, I think in uh, like 1997, okay, 1997. Uh, my wife and I were teaching in South Korea, okay? And a friend of ours from Canada came over to teach with us. He wanted the experience to teach. So he came to South Korea for a few months and we got a job. His name is Brad. One weekend, while we're all there in Seoul, South Korea, uh, one weekend, we're going to get on the train and we're going to go to another city to visit, just for be tourists and enjoy ourselves and meet some more friends. Okay, so that's that's the the background of the story. So we're on the train and we're going south uh, to this other city, and we got about a four-hour train trip. And my my lovely wife Gail, always super smart. She brought snacks, okay? And one of the snacks over there that we loved were these, these things called Margaret cookies. So Margaret cookies are little cookies, sugar cookies, but they're all individually packaged. So you'd open the box and every cookie was in plastic, okay? No, there's no Chinese woman on this train, <laughs> all right? So every cookie was wrapped in plastic, okay? So 
it, it doesn't matter if you drop it, it's still clean. You just open it up, okay? So she gets out the cookies, and I look over at Brad, and I say, hey, Brad, he's sitting across the aisle, all right, on the other side of the train, and the seat next to him is empty. So I say, hey, Brad, do you want any cookies? <laughs> and Brad says, yeah, sure, thanks. So I take a cookie, and I throw it at him, and I hit him. He's ah! <laughs> and he's like, hey! But then he opens it up, and he eats the cookie. All right? And we keep going, and about five minutes later, I say, hey, Brad, do you want another cookie? And he says, yeah, sure. He had forgotten what I'd done the first time. So I take the next cookie, and I throw it again, and I hit him again. <laughs> and it, Then he said, so we're good friends here in Canada, so this is why I'm doing, just tease your friend. I hit him again, and he says, watch it, right? He's, that's the warning. And we go another about five minutes down the train, looking at the scenery. Everything's beautiful. And I say, hey, Brad, do you want another cookie? And he turns in his chair, and he looks me right in the eyes. and says, yes, I do. Yes, I do. So that's the challenge. It's a warning saying, don't even try it. So I take another cookie, and I throw it again. I hit him right in the face. <laughs> Anyway, he says, that's it. I'm coming over. And he gets up and he comes over. He starts punching me. <laughs> so I'm in my chair. Ow, ow, ow. And behind me, standing behind me, uh, the, cr the train was pretty crowded. Standing behind me were two high school girls, Korean high school girls. And they were going, oh, 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 my God, oh, my God. So they don't know who we are, but we had short hair. So we look like American soldiers, maybe. <laughs> so there they're thinking, oh, my God, the American soldiers are fighting about cookies, right? So, <laughs> so <laughs> that was the whole story. When you're with your friends, guys, they tease each other until the point somebody starts to fight. And that's just normal guy stuff, okay? That's how we behaved on the train. All right, so now let me ask you some questions and see if you can remember the, the story, okay? All right, so first question, what year did this happen? What year did this story take place? Yes, Elise got it, Rula, yeah, Conol, Pavlina. Yeah, good listening. You guys got it? All right. Okay, second question. What country were we in? What country were we in? Can you remember that one? All right, not in Canada. Where were we? Where were, where were we? Yes, yeah, we were in South Korea. Very good. All right. As usual, yes. Okay, now here's the next question. Who are the three people in the story? What are the three people in the story? Can you remember their names? Can you remember who was in the story? It was you, Gail, and Brad. Yes. Yes. Gail, Joe, and Brad. Yeah, you're your wife and Brad. Excellent. Good listening. Okay. All right. Uh, who, uh, so my name, and Brad Pitt. <laughs> All right. Uh, so who, who remembered to bring snacks? Who was the smart person who remembered to bring snacks? Who was who the smart one? Yes. Yes. Wonderful. Yeah, Gail. She was all... her. She, she thinks. Me, I, I don't really do that. Yeah. 
My wife, Gail, she remembered. Of course. Of course. All right. All right. This one's a little harder. <laughs> What was the what was the snack that we that we opened? What was the name of the snack that we were we enjoyed? <laughs> women, yeah, women, women are good at remembering stuff. All right, cookies. Yeah, cookies, cookies. Yeah, my, yeah. So, well, if you ever go to Korea, <laughs> yeah. So here they were, yeah, Margaret cookies, and yeah, you're right, Marina, sugar cookies in plastic wrapping. Yes, perfect, Margaret cookies. Okay, all right, great, all right, <laughs> all right. How many cookies did I throw at Brad? How many cookies did I throw at Brad? <laughs> In my mind, I can still remember this story, and I still loved it. All right. Oh, Conol. Oh, the first mistake. There was three. Three cookies. All right, three total. Yes, three in total. Okay, all right. What did Brad say after I threw the second cookie? What did Brad say after the second cookie? It's a little tricky detail. I don't know. The last one he punched me, yeah. Yes, yeah. So not just watching, watch it. Watch it. Not watch out, watch it. All right? Watch it. Watch it. All right. No, no, watch watch out means kind of a, like hey, something bad's going to happen. Watch it is more like a threat, okay? Yeah, he said, "Watch it." Okay? <laughs> All right. And now, what did Brad say after I hit him in the face with the third cookie? So after I hit Brad in the face with the third cookie, what did he say? You remember this one? Close. Oh, no, he said something. I'm coming, Mr. Sexy Farmer. <laughs> no, he did not say Mr. Sexy Farmer. No, he said, he said, that's it. I'm coming over. So from his seat to my seat, I'm coming over. I'm coming over. Okay? <laughs> Sexy farmer. <laughs> this, this story happened... What did this... This story... <laughs> so this was 1997. Sexy farmer didn't happen until... I don't know, 2010 or something. Okay? Yeah, I'm coming over. I'm coming over. <laughs> All right. Great, everybody. Wonderful. Okay, I have, I have, uh, so that's the end of the story. I have four more true-false questions. If you want to do those, you want to do some true-false, everybody? And I'll have a drink of water. What does it, what does it mean? I'm coming over. That means I'm coming to, yeah, I'm coming from his seat to my seat. He's moving over. He's coming to get me. All right, he's going to beat me up. All right, so here we go. Where's my pen? All right, let's go. Let's say, all right, let's do this one with Pavlina. All right, everybody. 
This is Pavlina. True or false about Pavlina? Ready? Pavlina wants to change jobs. Pavlina wants to change jobs. Is this true or false? What do you think about Pavlina? She's all ready. So give us, our vo give us your votes, everybody. Do you think it's true or false about Pavlina? True or false? We've got a true, a false, false, false. She loves her job. Okay, very good. I hope so, but you never know. No, she is glad, glad to have her job. False. No, she's okay in her job. False. Okay, a lot of people saying false. False, false, false. One true. She's quite satisfied with her job. Everybody else is false. So only one true so far. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> All right, Pavlina, you got to let us know. Is it true or false? You want to change jobs. What do you think? And if and and what is your job? We don't know. <laughs> All right, Pavlina, true or false? You want to change jobs? She's gonna let us know. False. I have a new job for two. Jo oh, okay, you just got a new job. All right, Pavlina, what is your new job? And congratulations on getting the new job. That's wonderful. Yes. I was right. 3-1 Arif. All right. Very good. Excellent. Mariana, she's already changed it. Yes, she's already changed it. Now she's in a good position. That's great. All right. I work in an automotive company. Excellent. All right. Hello, Nielsen. All right. So let's try this one. Let's try this one about uh, Konul. Okay. So, Konul, this one is about you, okay? All right, Konul, this one's about you. Get ready. True or false about Konul? Konul woke up after 10 a.m. this morning. Konul woke up after 10 a.m. this morning. Is that true or false? All right. True or false about Konul? We're going to find out what is your vote on this. Konul woke up after woke up after 10 a.m. We got a true, false, true, true. That's what I did. Okay. <laughs> All right. True, absolutely. False, true, false. Early bird, false. Kiko, hi Kiko. <laughs> All right. A bit lazy on the weekends. True. All right. We got a lot of trues. We got some false, but some true. So it's it's more even 50-50 here. All right. Konul, tell us, did you wake up after 10 a.m. this morning? What's the, what is the truth? Did you, true or false, you woke up after 10 a.m.? It is false. I woke up 80, 8, at 8.30 today, everybody, even though it's Saturday. Up early. Nice. <laughs> I lose. I got it. <laughs> yeah. On, on weekends? <laughs> All right. Very good. All right. Let's try another one. Okay. This one. Uh, let's try Alberto. All right. This one is about Alberto, everybody. Okay, you ready? This one's about Alberto. <laughs> it's Saturday. Come on. All right. True or false, Alberto takes vitamin pills every day. Alberto takes vitamins, vitamin pills every day. Is that true or false? Yeah, your phone woke you. All right. <laughs> All right. 
We got a false. True. Yeah. Does Alberta take vitamin pills every day? False. False. Not every day. False. False. Okay, there's another true. Most people are saying false, but some true. False. False. Not every day. <laughs> All right. Okay. So where are Alberto, you're going to have to let us know. Is it true or false? Do you take vitamin pills? He eats healthy food and that's enough. Okay. All right, Alberta. True. Oh, wow. It is true. A lot of people said false, but it's true. I need to be healthy. Wow. All right. Very good. So we had some people. <laughs> what the? <laughs> All right. Some sad people there. Other people won. Yeah. I lose again. I was right again. All right. Okay. Great. All right. Let's try. Okay. This one is about Nicoletta. All right. Let's try Nicoletta. All right. Okay. Is this true or false on Nicoletta? This is my last one. True or false? Ready? Nicoletta is wearing some makeup right now. Nicoletta is wearing some makeup right now. Is that true or false? All right. All right, we get true. True. Nielsen says true. <laughs> Hiroyuki says true. So all true. True. Alberta says true. False. Today is off. All right. Today, today is a day off. No makeup. All right. No, she's beautiful without makeup. Okay. True. She always looks beautiful. True, but she doesn't. She shouldn't because Italian women are beautiful. Okay, Elise. Marina, true. She's going to a restaurant. Okay, yes. She's wearing some makeup and go back to sleep. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Why? Why would she have makeup on and then go to sleep? <laughs> all right. All right. These are all good votes. All right. And remember, if uh, if 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 you're right about the extra comment, you get double points. Very important. Okay. <laughs> Nicoletta, tell us, is it true or false? You're wearing some makeup. And if you have any detail, that is the same as what other people are saying. <laughs> Arif is laughing. False, because in the weekend I stay home, so no makeup, everybody. No, no makeup on the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. <laughs> Excellent. Yay! <laughs> yes. Yeah. Kiko, is that what you said? Did you say because of the weekend? Today's off. Yeah, so there you go, Kiko. You get double points. Nice. <laughs> hello, hello. All right. Yes, put on and go somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Marina wants you to go out. Hiroyuki was one in three today. That's not, not a good score. Bad score. <laughs> Kiko's happy. All right, everybody. So that's that's it for today. I've finished all my lesson stuff. Four for three. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to do another live lesson tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock, another one. So I hope you guys can show up. It'll be nice to see you. Ah, oh, Elise, I'm sorry. But I got to get out into the sunshine, and I think I think somebody needs a drive somewhere. All right? And uh, always, always have to clean up. Yeah. So thanks for coming by. I really appreciate it. And uh, I had a lot of laughs with you guys. <laughs> Great. <laughs> All right. <laughs> bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. All right.
Have a good day, and I hope you come back tomorrow, right? Same time tomorrow, 9 o'clock. All right. <laughs> I love you. I love you guys, too. Live long. Yes. All right. Great. See you later. Thanks a lot.